Have you ever felt anxious or stressed because of things that we go through in this life? I know I have, for certain, there are many times in which I've gone through stress or I've felt this tension or I've been anxious. And so because of that, today, we're going to be starting a new Bible plan called Calm Moments for Anxious Days. And I pray that it will be a blessing, not just for you, but for me as well. And so we're going to be starting day number one. And so with that, let's jump right into it. And I am so excited that you get to be part of this journey. Let's go. It says the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. Exodus 33, 11. Moses makes a request of God. Show me your glory. Show me your radiance. Moses is praying. Flex your biceps. Let me see the S on your chest, your preeminence, your heart stopping, ground shaking, extra spectacularness. Why did Moses want to see God's greatness? Ask yourself a similar question. Why do you stare at sunsets and ponder the summer night sky? Why do you search for a rainbow in the mist or gaze at the Grand Canyon? How do you explain your fascination with such sights? Beauty? Yes. But doesn't the beauty point to a beautiful someone? Doesn't the immensity of the ocean suggest an immense creator? Doesn't the rhythm of migrating cranes and... How do you pronounce this? Beluga whales, I think? Hint of a brilliant mind? And isn't what we desire a beautiful maker? An immense creator? A God so mighty that he can commission the birds and command the fish. Show me your glory, God, Moses begs. It's interesting because that's something I think about when I go to the beach. And, you know, I, if, you know, for, for anyone here that may be new to the stream, um, I, you know, I live in Puerto Rico. So the beach is pretty close to where I'm at. So I've, I've been able to, you know, I've been blessed to be able to go to the beach several times throughout my life. Um, and usually when I go to the beach, you know, sometimes I just stare at the immensity of, of the ocean and how it keeps going and going and how, how I can't see really like an end to it. And I think about how greater, how even like, like a bigger God is. And to know that he is the one that created all of it, you know, it's, uh, it's absolutely just extraordinary. Same of it's the same feeling um you know when when i just look up at the sky and i raise up my hand and see that i'm not even close to it and to know that again that just god is greater and to know that such a great god you know chose me and sees me and loves me it's just it i have no words for it, it it's just an incredible feeling and and so much comfort in that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep reading. Show me your glory, God, Moses begs. We cross a line when we make such a request, when our deepest desire is not the things of God or a favor from God, but God himself. We cross a threshold. Less self-focus, more God-focus. Less about me, more about him. One glance at the skies, night or day, reveals the heart-stopping extra spectacularness of God. His mind is immeasurable and infinite. Doubt and fear would say we are nothing in the midst of such immensity and power. God says you are seen and you are mine. So if you ever feel afraid of being lost in the enormity of it all, remember this. Psalms 8, 3 to 5. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. God's promise to me, God is infinite 
and all-powerful. He is also personal. He sees, knows, and loves me. Exodus 33, verse 11. So the Lord spoke to Moses face to face, as a man speaks to his friend. And he would return to the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of... I don't know if you pronounce it Nun or Noon. I mean, it would be kind of funny if it would be the son of Nun, but... Anyways. <laughs> A young man did not depart from the tabernacle. Exodus 33 verse 18 And he said, Please show me your glory. Psalms 8, 3 through 5, which is basically what we read earlier. I'm going to read it one more time. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels and you have crowned him with glory and honor. Absolutely beautiful. I love those verses so much. You see God's creation every beautiful thing and you know yet he still sees us as one of his greatest creations and we can count on him we can depend on him always you know and, and again there are times where where I remind myself, which, or try to remind myself, you know, going outside, just looking at the sky, seeing how big it is, and, and to know that God is greater than any of, you know, any any doubt, any fear, anything that I may, may be struggling with. He is greater, and He's there, and He cares, and He loves. He is absolutely just extraordinary. I love God so much so so much and so flames that is the first day of the bible plan you know that we're going to be going through you know i encourage you guys you know if this is your first time here we're going to keep you know reading this live but you're welcome to to join us here you know twitch.tv slash zsarayu and let's keep learning let's keep growing together you know as one god is amazing extraordinary so yes